salvage companies protect property from smoke and water damage. As hose lines are being laid and ladders are being raised by other basic units, the salvage men are inside, covering furniture, merchandise, stock and other property with waterproof covers. The well-trained salvageman is alert to protect most valuable items first. The use of sawdust completes the operation of keeping water away from stacked and covered furnishings. It absorbs water and is also used to form dikes or dams to control the flow of water. Once a fire has been extinguished, the work of the salvage men is just beginning. These companies are usually the last ones to leave the scene of a fire. Salvage companies are equipped with the necessary tools to combat water damage. It is their job to do the final cleanup work and leave the premises in the best possible condition. Salvage companies are responsible for the saving of thousands of dollars worth of property each year. Their efforts throughout the years have resulted in the reduction of your fire insurance rate. The basic firefighting companies are backed up by special equipment and trained crews to handle special types of fires. Mountain patrol stations house tank trucks carrying hose and water. Although capable of drafting or obtaining water from hydrants when available, these units are a necessity in those areas far removed from a source of water. And brush fires in the 125 square miles of mountain area within our city are a constant menace. Mountain patrolmen in patrol cars equipped with hose, water, and other brush firefighting tools play an important part in the extinguishing of small brush fires. These men maintain year-round patrol and inspection. Theirs is a job of fire prevention by enforcing the strict fire regulations so necessary in this hazardous area. Bulldozers are used the year-round, constructing fire breaks and fire roads to make the mountain area accessible to manpower and equipment when fire strikes. This equipment has also proved its worth in helping to bring major brush fires under control. In direct contrast to our arid mountain area, where water for firefighting purposes has long been a problem, we find a different situation at Los Angeles Harbor. Oil, lumber, and chemicals are but a few of the products of the industries that add to the potential fire hazard. Over 45 miles of waterfront with warehouses, ships, and oil-soaked piers contribute to the possibility of fire. Land-based firefighting companies protecting the waterfront are supported by fireboats capable of attacking warehouse, pier, or wharf fires from the seaward side. And fires aboard ships. That is the responsibility of the fireboat crews, particularly so when such ships are out of reach of land-based companies. Seawater in abundance is supplied by powerful pumps 
capable of delivering thousands of gallons of water a minute for firefighting purposes. Of exceptional importance is the ability of our fireboats to supply water to land-based engine companies should the need arise. There are occasions when fires reach serious proportions. In such instances, the radiated heat may become so great that firemen with hand lines cannot approach close enough to efficiently fight the fire. Portable monitors and wagon batteries supply the great quantity of water needed. Or when such fires involve the upper floors of buildings, the water tower is the answer. Obviously, Water damage is extensive, but confining this type of fire to its point of origin is a must to prevent its spread to adjoining structures. At night fires, particularly where electrical systems have been damaged, the laborious procedure of wetting down smoldering material to prevent rekindle is a problem. Utility companies, equipped with portable generators and lighting equipment, furnish the necessary illumination. Coffee urns on utility trucks furnish the firemen with their favorite drink, Java, strong, black, and hot. Oil fires present a unique firefighting problem. Fomite companies carrying cans of foam powder and portable foam generators are in constant readiness to suppress such fires. Foam powder dumped in the hopper of the generator is mixed with the moving column of water and flows from the nozzle in a sticky mass that has a strong smothering effect. Crash trucks Speedy fire control units protect the city's airports and extinguish aircraft fires so that immediate rescue of the occupants can be accomplished. In addition, they prevent the spread of such fires to other property. Rescue companies strategically located throughout the city, respond with life-giving oxygen on all calls demanding emergency resuscitation. Firemen assigned to these units are well-versed in all branches of first aid, but the majority of their calls require the administration of oxygen for respiratory failure. This condition is usually caused by drownings, electric shock, heart attacks, and the inevitable attempts at self-destruction, suicide. 